This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When it comes to websites, online stores, etc., there's no place to build a beautiful online presence like Squarespace. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Oscar nominations reaction video where I'm going to be reacting to the Oscar nominations, predicting what's going to win, and picking what I want to win. I got on these slippers, and I got a coffee. It's going to be a good time. As far as general predictions, general wants, Power of the Dog is going to have a great morning. West Side Story is going to get a surprising amount. A lot of people think West Side Story isn't doing well, that it's had a horrible Oscar campaign. It has. But I still think it's got like that Hollywood royalty feel to it that I think the Oscars will really play into. But let's quit blabbering and just get into it. Performance by an actress in a supporting role. Mm. Jesse Buckley in The Lost Daughter. <sighs> Ariana DeBose in West Side Story, Judy Dench in Belfast, Kirsten Dunst in Power of the Dog, and Ingenue Ellis in King Richard. What? <laughs> Everyone's been saying that this is the most predictable category, and it, I got it wrong. Where do we even begin here? They chose Judy Dench over Catriona. Nothing for passing, when I really thought that was going to get some noms here. And Jesse Buckley. That I did not see coming. Predictions, I think Ariana DeBose. I think she's she's been the front runner for a while now. But as far as picks go, I mean, I loved Kirsten Dunst in The Power of the Dog. So I think I'm going to go Kirsten Dunst, to be honest. Here are the nominees for Achievement in Costume Design. Cruella, Cyrano, Dune, Nightmare Alley, and West Side Story. I thought I was going to do so well with these predictions. I didn't, I'm doing so awful so far. I mean, Cruella, I knew was going to get it. Uh, I did not think Serrano was going to get it. I'm not upset. I don't know why I didn't predict Nightmare Alley either. That was, that seemed obvious. Predictions, I'm going to say Cruella. Seems like that's a Disney win. Disney's definitely going to get the costume design award. And for pick, I love the Dune outfits. I think Dune, I like, you never notice the costume design, but Dune Really loved the costumes in that. Here are the nominees for Achievement in Sound. Belfast. <laughs> Dune. No Time to Die. Power of the Dog. And West Side Story. I mean, all of those make sense to me. The only one that doesn't is Belfast. Belfast is way louder than it needs to be. That movie screams at you its entire runtime. I did not have it predicted here. I really thought Tick, Tick, Boom would get that over Belfast, which is kind of a disappointment my pick is dune and my prediction is dune i think it's got that one in the bag here are the nominees for achievement in music original score don't look up okay dune yep Encanto. okay parallel mothers oh jesus and the power of the dog okay <laughs> That was one of the only chances the French Dispatch had. It's just not going to be here. <laughs> I mean, Glad Don't Look Up got some recognition, to be honest, just because it's Nicholas Patel. You guys know how I feel about it. A little bit bummed Spencer didn't get recognized, to be honest. That's one of my favorite scores. But The Power of the Dog, Dune, I mean, you can't complain too hard. They're they're pretty much, they're, they're great. My prediction is Dune. It's just got that Hans Zimmer name to it. But my pick is The Power of the Dog. Adapted <coughs> screenplay. The nominees are Coda. Screenplay right. by Sean Hader. Screenplay by Ryusuke Hamaguchi. He's cutting out. And Taka Dune. Dune. Screenplay okay. by John Spates. De Nouvel Nouve. The Lost <laughs> Daughter, written by Maggie Gyllenhaal. And The Power of the Dog, written by Jane Campion. Dude. Okay. See, I don't know what I was thinking putting West Side Story in there to begin with, but I, I thought West Side Story would get that one. But Drive My Car Over West Side Story, pretty insane. It's going to beat out Spielberg and Best Director. I feel like it's going to get a Best Picture nomination, which is just insane to start thinking about that Spielberg might just kind of not get a lot tonight. As far as my prediction goes, Power of the Dog. I think Jane Campion's got that best picture lined up, so it would only make sense for them to get the best adapted screenplay. My pick is probably The Power of the Dog. I mean, obviously. Japanese for original screenplay. Belfast, written by Kenneth of Branagh. Course. Don't Look Up. Screenplay by Adam McKay. And The Worst Person in the World, written oh. by Eskil Vogt. I'm glad the worst person in the world is getting some recognition because other than that and licorice pizza, what an awful category that was. <laughs> I mean, Belfast, Don't Look Up, 
King Richard. Very interesting category. This one's going to be really frustrating because I don't think the good ones are going to win. I am predicting Belfast wins it, which is going to hurt. But my pick is honestly the worst person in the world. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Short Film and the Windchill Wiper. I kind of just went off Gold Derby as far as predictions go. So I'm not like heartbroken by any of these. I don't, I've never, I haven't seen these. I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen these. Let's say the windshield wiper pick and prediction. It's got to be good. The nominees for best live action short film <laughs> and please hold. Let's say the long goodbye pick and prediction just feels right. I am animated and short. <laughs> Oh, Leslie. Performance by an actor in a supporting role. Kareen Hines in Belfast. Troy Kotzer in Coda. Jesse Plemons in The Power of the Dog. Oh, shit. J.K. Simmons in oh. Being the Ricardos. Oh, no. Please. And Cody Smith okay. McPhee Thank in God. Power of the Dog. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, a Jared Leto snub. No Jared Leto for his Mario performance. Nothing for Bradley Cooper. A lot of people were predicting that. I was predicting that. But a win for Coda and a win for The Power of the Dog. I'm not upset. Pick and prediction is Cody Smith McPhee. He got the Golden Globe. He was great. A lot of people love him. And uh, I loved him. I'm honestly just happy Jesse Plemons got in because what a great performance. And I did not expect that at all. The rest of the Oscar nomination announcements, including the big one at the end for Big Picture. Big Picture. <laughs> Big picture. <laughs> Don't look up. Okay. Dune. King Richard. Come on. The power of the dog. <gasps> tick, tick, boom. What? Okay. Why? Okay. That was massive. If you're paying attention to Oscars, if you're looking at the awards, I feel like if you're not nominated for best editing, you don't have a chance at best picture. Belfast did not get best editing and neither did Licorice Pizza, no? That is crazy. All of a sudden, Don't Look Up is looking very much like it has a chance at best picture <laughs> don't want that to happen but you know power of the dog still powering through no pun intended i guess my pick is the power of the dog my prediction is i hope the power of the dog but you know what i'm, I'm gonna be honest with myself and say dune but belfast not winning the big picture not winning the big picture this year now here are the nominees coming to america okay cruella dune all right the eyes of tammy faye and house of gucci <laughs> so they didn't give it to Jared Little, but they gave it to his, you know, makeup. I took a chance on coming to America in my predictions and somehow won. I don't know why I only picked three. I really should have gone for the full five. But I mean, the three I did predict, they got in. Um, I'm not upset at this. I think the win will go to uh, Dune. And honestly, my my pick is is also Dune. Like looking at the Baron, he looked awesome. That, that in itself deserves all the awards. Here are the nominees for the best animated feature film. Encanto. Yep. Flea. Yep. Luca. Boom. The Mitchells versus the Machine. Right. And Raya. And Raya and the Lost Dragon. Dude, the easiest award to guess. I, I finally got one. <laughs> I predicted all of these. They all made it. Thank God, dude. My pick is probably Flea. Just watched Flea and loved it. I think it's pretty obvious they're going to give it to Encanto. Here are the nominees for Achievement in Music Original Song. Be Alive from King Richard. Dos Oruguitas from Encanto. And Somehow You Do from Four Good Days. I really, I thought she was about to say So May We Start and I was going to flip the whole table. <laughs> you know, a snub for... A net. But I'm not complaining. I mean, I guess these are fine songs. I just realized Don't Look Up got snubbed, which was important. I'm not that passionate about the best original song category. I don't really care. I could not tell you what any of these songs sound like. But I guess my pick is going to be uh, No Time to Die. Why not? I like Billie Eilish. <laughs> and my prediction, Encanto. They got to give it to Encanto. The category is best documentary short. And when we were bullies. I have not seen any of those. Let's say pick and prediction, the queen of basketball. Seems like that has some good odds. Best documentary feature. Okay. Ascension. All right. Attica. Okay. What is Flea. That? Summer of Soul or when the revolution could not be televised. And riding with fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rescue. Where's the rescue? That is weird. But glad that Flea's in there. I mean, I knew Flea would be here. I knew Summer of Soul would be here. I'm picking Flea. 
predicting Summer of Soul. That's definitely going to win. For achievement in visual effects. Dune. Right. Free Guy. Oh, Dune. No Time to Die, <laughs> Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings. And that no way home. will be Spider-Man's only nomination. Remember that. I mean, I was even rooting for Godzilla v. Kong. Not Free Guy. <laughs> you guys know I like The Matrix. You know I like that new movie a lot, but but this is this just sucks. Pick uh, Dune. There's a chance they give it to Spider-Man, but I think I'm just going to lock in Dune for now. Dune seems like the safest bet for most of these. The nominees for Achievement in Cinematography. Dune. Right. Obviously. Nightmare Alley. Yeah, okay. The Power of the Dog. Of course. The Tragedy of Macbeth. Thank God. And West Side Story. <sighs> Dude, Belfast is getting eaten. It's getting eaten. I'm so glad that West Side Story got recognized for its cinematography. The cinematography in West Side Story is just, God, it's so good. Again, nothing for the French Dispatch. My pick is West Side Story. I think West Side Story deserves this. West Side Story has uh, some phenomenal cinematography. My prediction, Dune, right? I mean, it's Denis Villeneuve. I mean, he didn't shoot it, but it's a Denis Villeneuve movie. And now, here are the nominees for Achievement in Production Design. Dune. There it is again. Nightmare Alley. The Power of the Dog. Ooh. The Tragedy of Macbeth. Ooh. And West Side Story. Ooh. Okay. It's again, nothing for French Dispatch. I think that train has left the station. Don't think this one will go to Dune. Actually, <laughs> I guess my pick is going to be The Tragedy of Macbeth. I thought The Tragedy of Macbeth's production design was through the roof. My prediction, I hate to say it, it's going to be Dune. I just think that movie is going to do so well. It's going to do so well at these awards. International feature film. Okay. It's my car, Japan. You saw that. Flea, The Hand of God, Luana, A Yak in the Classroom, and The Worst Person in the World, nice. Norway. Nice. Okay. Leslie, you keep... Glad Flea is on its, what, third nomination now? I mean, I, f I feel like people saw this coming. The predictions obviously drive my car. I feel like drive my car has a chance at best picture, at least getting a nomination. I don't know about a win. My pick though is the worst person in the world by an actor in a leading role are here we go javier bardem Fuck. in being the ricardos benedict cumberbatch in the power of the dog andrew garfield in tick tick boom nice will smith in king richard and peter and denzel washington okay. in the tragedy of Macbeth. damn yes. you know what i wasn't that far off it was really between javier bardem and peter dinklage everything else though was was kind of a given this is honestly one of my most passionate categories of the night i'm so rooting for benedict cumberbatch he get, he's so good in that movie for now i'm gonna stick to will smith as my prediction the nominees for performance by an actress House in a Gucci. leading role here we go Jessica Chastain in The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Okay. Olivia Coleman in The Lost Daughter. Right. Dude, Kristen Stewart, please. Penelope Cruz in Parallel Mothers. Whoa. Nicole Kidman in Being the Ricardos. And Kristen Stewart <gasps> in Spencer. Oh my god, I'm so glad she's in. I'm so glad she's in. Lady Gaga not being nominated? Them picking Penelope Cruz? Oh, I'm shocked. I am shocked. No, they they do not. They didn't like House of Gucci. I mean, who did, right? But <laughs> I mean, I don't know if she can, she has it to win, but I'm so glad she made it. My pick is Kristen Stewart. Jessica Chastain might get it for the eyes of Tammy Faye. That just seems like the kind of role in the kind of movie that would like win Best Actress. It just seems like it, you know? Ding. And the nominees are Kenneth Branagh, Belfast. Oh, Jesus. Ray Yusuke Hamaguchi, oh, my Drive God. My Car. Steven Spielberg's not getting in. Paul Thomas Anderson, Licorice Pizza. Jane Campion. Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog. Oh, and, and Steven Spielberg, <gasps> West Side Story. They snubbed Denis. I thought Denis was a lock. I thought he was a lock. Oh, man. I mean, Jane Campion, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Jane Campion's gonna get that win. This does make me question Belfast if he was able to get a Best Director nomination. I'm just glad Steven's in there. When did Steven Spielberg become the underdog? <laughs> so picking and predicting Jane Campion here. Best picture. Oh, here we go. Belfast. Obviously. Laura Berwick. Coda. Philippe there Rousselet. Don't look up. Adam McKay and Kevin Messick, yeah. producers. Drive My Car, Teruhisa Yamamoto, <laughs> producer. Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, Guillermo del Toro, Whoa. The Power of the Thank Dog, God. Jane Campion, and West Side Story. Okay. I, uh, 
Surprise Tick Tick Boom didn't get anything. I honestly was kind of rooting for it too. But pick and prediction. The power of the dog for both. Belfast does not have best editing. Uh, Belfast isn't nearly as loved as Power of the Dog. Dune has a chance, except he didn't get best directing. Oh my god. That, him not getting best directing sh reshapes this entire thing, and I'll probably be changing my predictions on a weekly basis. Picking and predicting the Power of the Dog for best picture, it seems like the only film that has everything going for it. Unless I'm forgetting something. Man, what a, what an interesting lineup. I'm excited for this one. I'm, it's going to be a fun one, for sure. I'll see you guys at the Oscars. Thanks for watching, and before you head out, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Now, Squarespace, if you didn't already know, is a place where you can go online to build your brand, whether that be an online store, a blog, a portfolio, you name it. They have professional portfolio designs where you can create galleries for your work, as well as password-protected pages for clients. And if, let's say, I want to share some of my favorite videos, they have a video block feature where I'm able to lay them all out in a nice and pretty way. And they have a built-in mobile web designer, which makes it so that your website automatically looks great, no matter what platform it's on while still matching your style. And if you go to squarespace.com slash Karsten, which is my name, you can get 10% off of your first purchase. So really, there's no reason not to give it a shot. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching this video. And you know what? I'll see you in the next one.